Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Materialized, or Jax, black again with another motherfucking video. And today guys, I'm going to be showing you how to get the Iron Wield Finger Biter in Borderlands 3. This is not of legendary rarity, it is of blue rarity, but the skin on it alone makes it worthwhile to me. Um, and as you guys can see, look at this, look at, these, look at this gun, look at it, look how good it looks. We'll go ahead and go into um, the actual stuff here. So let's go into inspect. Here you guys go. This is the actual... Uh, the actual gun skin itself, which has that beautiful purple to white splatter on it with the polka dots and the normal barrel. Super, super amazing looking weapon. And it's so, so interesting to me. Like, it looks so good. So, let's go ahead and take a look at the parts here. So, we have the trigger, which is, um, it does reload speed. The barrel accessory up here, which is minus 7 points accuracy. And the bolt, let's see the stock. Um, where's the oh here's the stock accessory so this stock accessory black here is plus 10 damage the magazine nothing scope nothing um, but yeah this is a really cool looking gun and that skin looks really nice so let me go ahead and show you guys exactly how to get it so for everybody that hasn't met Tina yet just work your way up to the story until you get here if you're interested in getting the finger biter now when I right after you guys meet Tina she's gonna send you out a door here and once you guys get straight out here Instead of following the main quest, you're going to go ahead and go up the other section. So over there in that little building is where you're supposed to go. We're going to turn left and go into this building right here. So I'm going to bypass all these enemies. You guys can do the same. Yes. But once we do get out here, you're going to head directly up into this building. Once you guys get up into this building, it's going to ask you to open up this door. Go ahead and select A E on this pad. And there's going to be a guy named Ramsden sitting here. Once you guys meet Ramsden, you're going to go ahead and just, you know, get the quest from him, which is going to be on the blood path. So once you guys get on the blood path quest, you're going to follow through all the way to the quest until the very end. During this entire quest, we're made it to believe that Ramsden is making us look for his really good old friend named Holder. And we're meant to believe that the Shanks kidnapped him and took him and put him in a cell but at the end of this quest we definitely find out that that is not true whatsoever and uh ramson was telling us a bit of a lie at a point in the quest you're gonna come to a uh gate aka a cell with a body inside of it that um is meant to be holder's body and apparently ramson knows every single scar on holder's body so he knows right off the bat that that's not him now, once you've interacted with that body, go ahead and click on the little um, tin foil, the tin foil, the little hatch next to it, and jump down. Once you guys have hopped down here, you're gonna go ahead and want to wipe out the rest of these enemies down here, in order to complete or get to the next sequence in this quest. So go ahead and wipe out all these enemies. After killing the last enemy, Holder is gonna have a voice line come up. As you guys can see upon approaching Holder, you're going to notice the finger biter is indeed in his hand. Now there's a really interesting story here, so I'll let you guys hear this. You're working for no fingers Ramsden? As in, he eats his enemy's fingers for freaking fun? The shanks have been hiding me from that animal, and now you've led him right to me! I'm a dead man. I'm a dead man! Better kiss my fingers goodbye! Unless... Yeah, yeah, you're a killer, right? Keep that guy away from my fingers and I'll make it worth your while. Knocky knock, let me in, Vault Hunter. Holder stole my favorite gun and left the biters. I need to speak with my good buddy and set things straight. Don't do it! He's a monster! He'll, he'll stab you in the back! Protect me, and uh, I'll give you my personal shield! So right here, guys, you have a choice. You can either get a shield from Holder, which is pretty good, or a shotgun, aka the finger biter from Ramsden. In order to do this, head on up to the pad, open up the door, and go ahead and wipe out Holder. After killing the last enemy, it's then going to switch and tell you to go talk to Ramsden. He is indeed over here on the other side. Once you guys go ahead and go up and talk to him to complete this quest, He's then going to see in the top right, right underneath your map, you're going to get $2,178 along with a blue rarity shotgun. As you guys can see now, all you got to go ahead and do, open up your inventory, go on down over to this, and you're going to notice you now have the Iron Willed Finger Biter. 
So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Upon opening it up and expecting it, you're going to notice the absolutely beautiful and insane skin that this gun has on it. This is by far my favorite skin from any weapon I have currently seen in the game. It has a little bit of white polka dot and like some splatter on it, and purple is my favorite color, so it is super super nice. So all in all, here's a rundown of all the stats in total. Um, we have the damage at 52 times 10 the accuracy 42%, the handling at 58%, the reload time at 1.1 second, and the fire rate at 2.66 seconds. The magazine size is 1, but it reloads very quickly. And um, the motto for this gun is, I suppose you're wondering about my bandages. Now, this is what really comes in handy and really makes it for this gun. So, the plus 108 weapon damage, 10% critical hit damage, plus 25% reload speed and 2.2 times weapon zoom and also critical hits ricochet one bullet at the nearest enemy. So not only do all the critical hits ricochet, but every bullet that comes out of this gun bounces in its on its own. So the plus 108% weapon damage up on top of the 552 times 10 that makes this right here 520 and then plus 108 percent makes this a total of 1081 damage on this shotgun so you have a really cool looking shotgun on top of 1081 damage and that's a really good amount of damage for the lower levels and basically that's everything um that i wanted to show you guys and i hope you guys uh hope you guys get this shotgun straight off the bat when you're using this gun you're gonna notice that when you shoot it it tends to like to bounce its bullets around absolutely everywhere around the map. Now the damage is okay, just the straight up damage is okay, but the cool thing about this gun is that the bullets, when you hit them on the ground, it splashes absolutely everywhere. So when your bullets hit the ground, they don't just ricochet off one thing, they ricochet off of absolutely everything. This allows your gun to have multiple damage on multiple different enemies. So as you see when I do go ahead and shoot the ground here, I'm able to hit a lot more enemies than I would normally because it ricochets absolutely everywhere. Here is a bit of a better look at the ricochets just so you can see it a little bit better. Now as you can see here I am shooting this absolutely everything and another little cool thing I wanted to point out is even the bullets are pink. Like when you pull out the bullets the shotgun bullets are pink as well. So that makes it even better.